Oh, this is a different one. Put some lipstick on. Hmm. <clears throat> this is kind of a strange, strange one. Hello, everybody. Can you get me in June? Yeah, how? I am not a big fan. I'm not a big fan. Quý vị biết khi mà mình nói, mình muốn nói thì mình không thích. Nhưng mà cho nó tế nhị một chút, mình nói là not, not a big fan. Okay, everybody. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Thôi qua, qua nhà khác đi. No, let's let's do something better. Okay, that 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 feels a little bit better anyway. Oh, hi everybody. If you're watching from the United States, let me see a one. If you're watching from Vietnam, why? Good morning, Vietnam. Let me see a two. Oh, this is so much better. Mm-hmm. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. <clears throat> I know now. Um, the Monday night football. Những người mà coi hồi trước, bây giờ có football rồi nào. Thursday cũng có Thursday night football nữa. Oh well. Hello, Phát. Oh, có ai đang coi ở Đồng Nai. Very good. Rửa à? Okay, của someone from three. Three là ở đâu? Three là ở đâu vậy? Are you from Canada? We got some ones. Very nice. Twos and threes. Hello there, Michael. Okay. So much better. This music is better. Um, we'll forget about the other one. Oh, Toronto. Hmm, okay. Long An, huh? I don't know where that is. Come. We got people from everywhere today. And uh, we got Nancy from Washington. Bye, Hong. And from B... What's BWA? Uh, Bang, Washington. Bye, Hong. Very nice. Oh, we got some people from Vietnam. Okay, everybody, there goes the music. Very, very good. Good to see everybody. Uh, oh, and we got some. Yeah, oi, oi, oi. We got someone from Australia. Hello, Australia. Australia is four. Australia is four. I love Toronto too. Very good Chinese food in Toronto. Okay. So I just drove down to Orange County. Okay. Mỗi lần mà lái xe xuống đây, it took me uh, an hour, 40-something minutes. And I left kind of early. Oh. Um, okay, uh, Nancy. Oh, gee, Nancy, huh? Oh, Nancy is from Bellevue, Washington. I see. Okay. Very, very good. Very nice. Uh, tonight, we are going to take a look at how to read a statement. Hello. Pauline from Florida. I'm coming to Florida in two weeks. Oh, less than two weeks. I'm coming to Florida. Yes, I am coming to Florida. Um, so if you have um, a life insurance policy, a lot of people don't know how to read the statement. You get one every year. Nhưng most people, they just, they either throw it away or they put it in a drawer some people don't even look at it. How many of you do that? How many of you don't even read your life insurance statement? Come on, raise your hand. Does anyone know how to raise their hand on in comments? Có ai mà nhận được những cái statement nhưng mà thực sự mình không có đọc? Có không? Be honest. Okay? A lot of people. A lot of people. And then sometimes... Mình đọc nhưng mà mình không có hiểu. Like you read it, but you still don't understand. Pauline, thank you for being honest. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Còn những người mà không có, I don't know why. Why don't you have life insurance? Huh? How come? Life insurance là nó rất là lợi cho gia đình mình. Huh? Lợi cho mình nữa. Even if you don't have a gia đình. So if you are uh, single, it's also very, very good. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take a look at how to read a life insurance statement. And after you understand it, 
now you will be able to see, oh, is it, is it, good? Is, do I need to change it? Do I need to update it? What does it mean? Okay? Không có tiền hả? Sao? Không ai mà không có tiền. Um, in fact, a lot of people think they can't afford life insurance, but they're wrong. Tại vì mình làm cái plan theo cái khả năng của mình. Nên mỗi tháng mình save được bao nhiêu, then you can still build a plan from that. You know what's really expensive? Not having it. That can be very expensive. So think about that, yeah? Okay, rồi có phải không? Nè, nhiều người nói có nè. Có là có sao? Có là meaning là là mình không đọc phải không? Có là có là như vậy á, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you. <coughs> À, cách đọc statement của bảo hiểm nhân thọ nè. And nó tùy theo cái hãng. So it can look a little different. But if you know what to look for, then you'll be able to make sense of it. Okay? So khi mà nó gửi cái statement về cho mình, when you get a statement, there's a lot of information on your statement. I know sometimes you look at it, bunch of numbers, dates, whatever, you throw it away. Stop it. Let's read it, okay? You're going to have the insured's name. Đây là cái người mà, mà cái hợp đồng nó bảo vệ người đó đó. So if it's a life insurance policy, if that person dies, then the beneficiaries receive money. Okay? And then there's the policy owner. Most of the time, người insured và owner là một người. So normally it's the same person, but not always. Sometimes the owner can be a parent or a child or a husband or a wife or an employer. Okay, mẹ mua cho con hoặc là con cái mà mua cho những... Um, Người lớn tuổi, right? So if you buy it for your elderly parents. Hoặc là người làm mua cho người... Uh, no, người boss, ha? Huh? Người chủ mua cho người làm. So it doesn't always have to be the same person. This is an important issue date. Issue date is the day your policy became active. Okay? Face amount is the same thing as death benefit. Some companies call it death benefit. Some companies call it face amount. Now you know it's the same thing. Face amount, death benefit, la tiền tử, okay? And then surrender value. <clears throat> this, this is what you need to be looking for. Surrender value. What does surrender value mean? That means if you were to surrender, meaning give up the policy, return it, you don't want it anymore, how much cash would you have? How much cash would they give you? That's the surrender value. So it's tricky. Some companies call it surrender cash value, surrender value, net cash value. Sometimes there's cash value and net cash value. It's Confusing. Okay, so we're going to learn about it. So those are, are the types of information that you'll see on your statement. Okay, so far so good, right? Okay. Okay, I hope you can see this. So I am showing you real life um, examples of statements. Đây là statement của những người, mà, những người khách hàng. Um, who contacted me, và đây là những cái, cái kế hoạch cũ của họ đó. Okay, so they, people ask me to look at their policy all the time. The statement tells a lot. And so I'm going to show you different statements, and hopefully, by the end, you're going to look at it, and you're going to be able to do it yourself. Okay? Again, there's the insured name, and then the policy owner can be the same person, can be different. 
That's the issue date. See, this policy was issued in 1994. That's the day it became active. Okay, that's the death benefit or face amount. Đây là tiền tử nè, 100 ngàn đồng nè. Net surrender value. That's real cash. So don't just see cash value and think that's the cash that you can take out. It's not. Net surrender value is the actual cash you can take out. Uh, premium receive. Okay, so this is, uh, you can tell this is a cheap policy. So for one year, this person paid $336. Okay, and 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 86 cents or something like that. Oh my gosh. I, I think my vision just changed before my very eyes. And then um, interest credited. So this is the interest that you earned on your account in one year. $413.27. It's not a lot. And then if you take any money out, okay, it would show here a loan balance. Nếu mà mình rút tiền ra, nó sẽ, it'll show you on the statement. Nhưng mà cái người này không có lấy tiền ra, so that's zero. Okay? So now we're going to see what the numbers mean and how do we determine whether cái, cái, cái um, hợp đồng này tốt hay không, okay? Và đang lỗ hay lời hay sao đây? So, you're going to take a look at the premium. Đây là cái premium mình, um, mình đóng. Đây là, this one is actually annual. Mỗi năm nè. Rồi mình phải coi issue date, 1994. Okay, now it's 2023. That's 29 years. So you do $336 for premium for 29 years equals 9744 This is how much this person has paid so far. And then you look at the cash surrender, the net cash surrender, the balance, okay? Oh, uh, I don't, oh yeah, there it is. Cash value right there. So they've paid in 9,744. I think I did the wrong math on this. That should be negative, negative 108. Như vậy là mình đóng nhiều hơn tiền cash trong đó, right? In 29 years. Okay? So when someone tells you you will have cash down the road, you have to actually see how much. Don't just think, oh, great, and then not ask questions. Rất là nhiều người khi mua họ nói là sau này nếu mà mình mình cần tiền, mình có tiền mặt mình lấy ra. Không có ai bao giờ mà đặt câu hỏi là bao nhiêu hết. Ok, thì bây giờ quý vị coi nè, trong 29 năm, đóng vào là 7 9. I mean 9 7, trời. Nhưng mà cái tiền cash trong này bây giờ là 9 6. Ok. Here's another uh, policy statement. <cười> So again, this is what we're going to look for. What are we going to look for? That's the monthly premium. $152.21. If you pay it every month of the year, you will pay into it $1,826.52 a year. Now we're going to look for the issue date. So this was done in 2015, it's now 2023, so that's seven years. That means this person has paid $12,785 total. Now we're going to find the net cash surrender, net cash value, okay? This is how much cash this person actually has, which means, cái hợp đồng này bây giờ đang lỗ nè. 
gần 2 ngân rưỡi nè. Ok, nhưng mà it hasn't been 10 years yet. So normally I check around 10 years. Here they've only been in it 7 years. So there's going to be a surrender charge and that's why they haven't made money. However, you have to look down the road. Nếu mình tiếp tục đóng có thể là mình tiếp tục mất tiền thôi. The premium you pay does not necessarily mean that's your cost of insurance. That's why sometimes when people have um, a big policy but they pay very little, they think it's, oh, great, so cheap. Not great, not great. Tại vì sao? What you pay into it and how much they're actually taking out of it are two different things. Cái tiền mình đóng và cái tiền hãng bảo hiểm nó kéo ra là hai số khác nhau. And as you get older, your cost of insurance goes up in every company. That's just the way it is. Okay? All right. Here's another thing you should take a look at. So now you're like, well, what do I do? Is it still a good policy or not? Well, the death benefit is $100,000. The pay period is 25 years. So, at the monthly premium of $152, that's $18.26 a year, if you pay for 25 years, that means you will pay $45,663. Nhưng mà cái tiền tử 100 ngàn thôi. So then you have to ask yourself, do you think it's worth it? And then, in all that time, trong vòng 25 năm, nếu mình lấy cái số tiền này, mình đầu tư chỗ khác, mình save chỗ khác, mình ăn tiền, tiền lời ở chỗ khác, nó lợi hay không? Nó có lợi hơn vậy không? Okay, so you also have to take a look at your age. $100,000 when you purchased it a long time ago may seem like a lot. If you live another 20, 30 years, $100,000 is not a lot of money. Especially when you've already paid $45,000 into it. Okay, so some you have to do the math. Okay, here's another statement. Oh my gosh, I can't even read it. My eyes are so bad. Okay. Uh, so this one, policy date was in 2015. Yeah, I think that's what that says. Premiums paid, that's per year. Okay. Look, this is confusing because this says cash value right there. And then this says net cash surrender value. Okay. The two numbers are very different. So if you were to quit this policy, the money that you would get back would be the $545.72, uh, 72 cents. Okay. So now we're going to take a look and we're going to do some math. Here's your premium. Mỗi năm na. You're paying $1,500 a year. Okay, so this has been enforced for eight years. That means you've paid $12,302. Okay, you have to look at the net cash surrender value. That's, that's actually, cái này mới là tiền thiệt của mình nào. That means là cái, cái hợp đồng này đang lỗ là gần 12 ngàn luôn. Okay. All right. Um, what is this? I'm sorry, my, my, uh, oh, this is the surrender charge. So when you give up a policy in, in the first normally 10 years, they will charge you what's called a surrender charge. 
And right now, the surrender charge is $3,151. So I say, okay, let's add, let's add the surrender charge on there. And you're still low. Okay. We, that's, this is why you have to look at your statement. Here's another one. I remember this, uh, I remember this one. Um, and she lives here in Los Angeles. <clears throat> and in fact, we rolled over three policies, three policies for this family. So let's take a look at this, this statement. Look at it. Okay. So you got the death benefit, una face amount, same thing, $100,000. This is the surrender value right now. That's, that's the cash that she has. That's the premium monthly. And she's had it since 2008. So you take the monthly premium times 12. 1433 a year. She's had it 14 years. She's paid $20,000. The cash value she has is 5500. Cái hợp đồng này đang lỗ nè. And when I say low, it's because they all, all of them tell me that when they bought it, they bought it so that down the road, they could take money out if they needed it. Okay. So remember, there are several reasons why you would buy life insurance. And one big reason that a lot of people buy it is down the road, they can take money out. That's very attractive. Okay, mình nghe, sau này mình cần tiền, mình lấy ra được, mình thích lắm. Everyone wants that. Nhưng mà, if it's not structured properly, if you don't get the right product, if you don't keep an eye on it to make sure it's doing well, you're not going to have it. So, khi mà người, người, một người mà họ nhìn lại, họ thấy, oh my gosh, and then they hate it, right? So this is why we changed it for her. Because she wanted cash. You have to remember that when your life changes, you need to update your plan. And very important, when someone uh, tries to sell you a policy, they give you an illustration. And I'm going to do another video on how to read illustrations. Keep it. Quý vị phải giữ lại nha. I talk to a lot of people, they don't have it anymore. Why do I want to see it? I want to see it because... When you bought it, they told you 10 years down the road, if you need money, you can take it out. Okay. Each year, your agent should be taking a look at your policy. Nhưng mà bảo đảm với quý vị, so many agents không có làm như vậy. Which is too bad because that you're so, they're supposed to. And then you, as the client, should want to know. Nhưng mà tại vì người khách hàng cũng không biết, cũng không hiểu, nên họ không biết là, à, ah, cái này là mỗi năm mình phải coi lại hả? Yeah. Đâu ai biết vậy đâu. Và người agent mà làm việc mà có tâm á nha. You have to. You have to. Because I'll tell you why. This person right here, at 10 years, if she would have looked at it, no way she would have tiếp tục trả tiền vào đây. Of course not. Of course not. And then look at the death benefit. It's only a hundred thousand dollars. So then again, if this person lives another, I mean, 10 years would be young. This person is younger than me. Okay. If you live another 20 years, 30 years, how much money will you pay in? And how much are you getting out? Phải không? Is it worth it? Okay. 
this is what you can do if, oh, by the way, I was saying about the illustration, tại sao mà, tại sao mà mình, mình phải giữ cái, cái, cái illustration nha? Keep your illustration. Because when someone comes to me and I see the statement and I'm like, oh, this, this looks awful. Do you have the illustration? How? Không biết. And then they say, can I ask the agent for it maybe? And I'm like, you could, but you should have kept it. I don't know if your agent will have it. And guess what? Chưa có một người mà đi hỏi người agent và người agent produce được. I don't know why. When I do it, I keep everything. So if it's your responsibility, nhưng, okay, đối với Lina, nếu mà, mà khách hàng không giữ, it's okay, I have it. And not only that, I keep all communication. All your emails, your text messages to me, I document everything. Okay, like the Lina làm việc rất là kỹ, and I want you to remember. So, you look at the old illustration là tại vì hồi trước mình mua, họ, họ cho mình cái bảng số, right? I don't know what else to call it. And they say là maybe in 10 years you should have this amount of cash, hoặc là bao nhiêu đó. Nhưng mà quý vị không có bao giờ nhìn lại so sánh với những cái lời hứa của họ, okay? Of course it can't be exact. Nhưng mà it has to be pretty close to it. Còn như nếu mà lỗ mà lỗ quá trời như vậy thì ai mà mua, right? Nhưng mà if she would have paid attention, she could have gotten out a long time ago. Và bởi vậy nhiều người bị như vậy, họ kêu là tôi bị gạt. Tôi bị hãng bảo hiểm nó gạt tôi. No. It's in writing đàng hoàng. Không có hãng bảo hiểm nào gạt ai hết trơn ha. Huh? It's cái hợp đồng is not good. Set up không có đúng. Và mình mua rồi mình không có nhìn lại. So like no one. Mà cái cái đó phải thực sự nói là tại vì nhiều người agent làm việc không có tâm. Chị là cứ bán mua, cứ bán mua. Nhưng mà những người mà đỏ đã bán cho họ rồi đó, không có nhìn lại cái hợp đồng cho người ta. You have to. As a good agent, you must look at the policy. Annual reviews. Okay? And I, I, I don't understand people làm việc như vậy. But I want everyone out there to know là it's not the company, it's not the carrier not the insurance company who cheated anybody. Okay, nước Mỹ không có dễ mà gạt ai đâu. At least not in contract. Hãng, những, những cái hãng bảo hiểm này is all written down. So the carrier is not cheating you. But the agent didn't do a very good job setting up your policy or explaining it because you thought you were going to have a lot of money to take out later, but you don't. Okay, nên mình phải coi lại và mình sửa nó. Okay, we can change it. Um, there are some types of policies that are adjustable, like universal life. You can change it. Nhưng mà a lot of people buy whole life. Whole life, you can't, you can't change it. The premium, the death benefit stays the same. It's called set it and forget it. But, unfortunately... You really shouldn't be forgetting it. You should look at it. Okay? And this is what you can do. If you have a policy, and then, quý vị coi lại, quý vị nói, oh, oh, hình như mình cũng bị như vậy nè. Okay? First of all, you can email me. There's my email on the screen. But I bet now when you, now you can take a look at your statement and you can figure it out yourself. Rồi khi mà quý vị thấy, Uh, cái này nó perform không có đúng, ho, không tốt hoặc là uh, khi đó mình tưởng mình sẽ có nhiều tiền mà bây giờ mình đâu có đâu. Mà nhiều người còn bị lỗ nữa. What do you do? You do what's called a 1035 exchange. Okay? Là mình roll over từ cái, cái hợp đồng mình đang có, mình roll over trong một hợp đồng mới và mình set up cho đúng. Okay? Roll it over into a new policy Structured correctly, start earning compounded interest, take advantage of what it's supposed to do, what it can do for you. Yeah, 1035 
exchange. If you know anything about real estate, you know about the 1031 exchange. Like, khi mà mình bán nhà uh, và mình lời, nên mình muốn mua một nhà khác, they have a 1031 exchange. Okay, they save on taxes. So in insurance, a 1035 exchange is to take money from one hợp đồng, put it into the new one, Okay, and cái cái này đó là hai hãng nó làm việc với nhau. So I would help you with the paperwork, nhưng mà you don't have to do anything. You don't have to try to find your agent. Nhiều người can't even find their agent. Um, unfortunately, some people, they bought it from people they knew, a friend of a friend, người bà con, right? And now they ngại, they không có muốn, it's okay. Nhưng mà it's, this is your future. So, quý vị, nếu quý vị ngại, không có muốn nói chuyện với cái người mà bán cho mình đó, it's okay. Nhưng mà cái cái này nó liên quan đến uh, tương lai mình, tương lai con cái mình luôn đó. Nên mình phải nhìn lại, ha. Huh? And then I can help you figure it out. Mình làm một bài toán thôi. It's actually very easy. Okay? So, back to here, so, so that you remember. No, it's very easy now. These are just the things that you look for. Okay? Look for the surrender cash value. Look at your premium. I'm so surprised so many people have no idea how much they're paying in premium. Look at the issue date. Look at the issue date. Okay? Because time goes so fast. Before you know it, Oh my gosh, it's been 15 years. Mm. Okay, so please look. And just remember that statements look different. But look for the surrender value. Đó là thực sự là tiền mặt của mình đó. Surrender, yeah? And then look at the year. And then is it worth it? Okay, you should be able now to look at your statement and look for this information. Rồi khi, even if you don't understand it, even after this lesson you still don't understand it, get in touch with me, email me, and I will show it to you. Um, and then, not only that, I will also show you how I would have done it, how I would have built it, okay? Again, là không phải là hãng bảo hiểm gạt ai hết trơn á. Và nhiều lúc cũng không phải là vì người sales person either. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying that your agent cheated you either. That might not be the case. I'll, I'll tell you what Vietnamese people do. And I don't know, other people might do it too. The client wants to buy life insurance. So the client tells the agent what to do. First of all, and right now I'm training my agents and I tell them all the time, do not let the client tell you how to do your job. You're the professional. You're the expert here, so show them. Okay, nhưng mà sometimes người Việt mình họ rất là, they're very, um, I don't know what the word is. Nhưng mà they'll come in and they'll say, I want a policy, I want a, I want a $500,000 policy. And this is how much I have to pay, or how much do I have to pay. And sometimes the salesperson doesn't want to lose the sale, so they just do what the client tells them to do. I'm sorry. If you meet me, you're not going to be able to tell me what to do. Lina nói vậy trước nha. Last week I met a, a, a woman who told me how to do it and what to do it. You know, and she didn't know what she was talking about. And I had to show her. I said, chị, để em show chị, ha? Huh? I know what I'm doing, chị. This is the way you do it. And then, khi mà người đó chịu listen, 
so I can show them everything. Then she understood. Nên nếu mà quý vị mua bảo hiểm nhân thọ, tiền tử cao, tiền premium quá trời rẻ luôn, ít thiệt ít luôn á. That was not a good deal. Quý vị đừng nghĩ quý vị mua như vậy là good deal đâu. Because a lot of people who did that, bây giờ kêu là hãng bảo hiểm nó gạt tôi. No. Có thể là hồi xưa khi mình mua, mình muốn tiền tự cao, mình muốn tiền premium ít, rồi cái người agent cũng bán thôi. Okay? So, if you really want to take control, if you really want to understand, và if you really want to take advantage of what these policies can do, then find an agent who knows what they're doing and who's going to show you. Okay? Nhiều người họ mua uh, bảo hiểm ha. Huh? This is what happens. And if anyone out there is honest, please let us know if that's what happened to you. You call up the agent and you say, I want to buy life insurance and I want it for $400,000. How much do I have to pay? And then they tell you. And then that's it. That's the wrong way to buy insurance. Not only is it the wrong way to buy insurance, it is the wrong way to sell insurance. So you've got two people doing two wrong things. Of course it's going to turn out bad. Phải không? Right? Người agent cũng không có dám là nói là không. Chị không nên làm như vậy. Mà cái, cái người cái người khách hàng cũng là rất là không phải là độc quyền nhưng mà tiếng Việt nói sao đó nhưng mà she, that's what she wants so it's not the carrier's fault if you want to take advantage then you have to let the professional do their job um, and so that's what you look for just pull up your statement everybody It's why dễ luôn á. Right? Just pull it up. Nè, tin tử nè. I want you to, where? Whoop. I, I want you to look. See, look, they all look different too. Nhưng mà it is just một bài toán. It is just một bài toán. And now you know what to look for. And then, this is also very important. Do not uh, think, um, think I'm going to throw good money after bad. Là, khi mà mình biết là mấy cái hợp đồng không tốt rồi đó, ok, mình thấy lỗ ha. Nhưng mà mình tiếc cái tiền mình đã đóng vào. Nên mình tiếp tục đóng. Tiếng Việt cứ có cái cái câu gì nè. But cái, cái tiếng Anh là Do not throw good money after bad. Như vậy là mình đã lầm rồi nha. Nhưng mà đừng vì tiếc mà mình cứ tiếp tục đóng vào. I have talked to people who told me là uh, cách đây, you know, cách đây 5 năm cũng có một người nói cho 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 cái em này biết là cái hợp đồng này là là bad đó, lỗ nào. Em nên change đi. Tiếc nên không có change. Five years later, bây giờ còn thê thảm hơn nữa là tại vì mình tiếp tục đóng. So, make smart decisions. Have someone help you. Because nếu mà cái bảo hiểm nhân thọ mà mình làm cho đúng, oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful là một. Mình biết nếu cái gì xảy ra cho mình thì gia đình mình They're taken care of. Nhưng mà it's wonderful if uh, bây giờ mình sống lâu, mình khỏe. Lina design cho quý vị sau này quý vị hết làm rồi đó. Mình retire nhé. Mình bắt đầu mình lấy tiền ra mình không đóng thuế. Không đóng thuế. You don't have that now. You don't have it now. Nên nếu quý vị có một cái hợp đồng và họ hứa sau này sẽ có tiền lấy ra, please take a look. Please take a look. Why does anyone sign a contract that is going to last you for the rest of your life 
without looking at numbers, without asking questions. That doesn't make sense. Maybe because sometimes people buy from people they know, a friend, a relative, a relative's friend. Nên họ cứ tin tưởng họ không có đặt câu hỏi gì hết trơn. Okay, nhưng mà that's that's bad. Tại vì cái này là tương lai mình nào, tương lai con cháu mình luôn đó. Okay, uh, Dennis, thank you very much. Please hit the like button only once, or three times, or five times, if you appreciate the um, if you appreciate the content. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? Anyone? I got some comments on YouTube from people who saw the show on SBTN. Have you guys seen the show yet on SBTN? So I was telling everyone how very nervous I was and I never get nervous. Like I'll go on stage, I'll go live, no script, just talk. I can do it. Nhưng mà I went on SBTN and I had to speak all Vietnamese and hopefully make sense. I was so nervous. Um, SBTN on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays at 10 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. Pacific. And then Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Pacific on SBTN. And if you have their app, it's called SBTN Go. Uh, you can either watch it live or you can watch other episodes if you missed it. And then I would really appreciate um, the support if um, if you guys get a chance to see it. It's very different for me. Like right now, I can talk for another three hours and I could probably make it kind of interesting. Oh, nhưng mà, man, phải nói tiếng Việt, tự nhiên nervous, yes, out long up. And I'm going to have to do another one this week. So anyway, okay. So remember, please, now you know. Pull out your policy statement, even, even if it's an old one. Pull it out. Take a look at it. Now you understand. Now you know what to look for. And if you need help, if you think, mm, I think I'm in trouble, please email me and, and we'll do the math together. We'll see what we can do. Um, also, if you bought a policy a long time ago for your children, a lot of people did this. You need to look at it as soon as possible. I recently helped a lot of people who bought policies for their children a long time ago, like 20 years ago. And I feel so bad that we sell. Cách đây 20 năm, họ biết nên có life insurance. Okay? I love that. I love that they, they biết suy nghĩ đến tương lai, they mua life insurance. Nhưng mà they, the agent didn't take care of them. And now, they're stuck with these whole life policies where they've paid in so much money already and their child is only 20. So you have to look at the face amount or the death benefit. Tiền tử, hồi trước mua cho con cái, okay? sometimes 50 ngàn, sometimes 100 ngàn. And 15 years ago, a $100,000 policy sounded pretty big. But now when you do the math, and then when you think, well, if your child lives another 30, 40 years, you're going to end up paying more than the death benefit. Okay? So you need to make some changes because now they can continue to contribute. I call it contribute now because you're not just paying for life insurance. You're doing a lot more. So now, mỗi tháng, okay, mình đóng tiền vào đó. Đừng có để là hãng bảo hiểm nó chỉ lấy cái tiền đó thôi. It's gone every month, every month. No. 
Now you can build it. You can đầu tư. You can invest. You can earn compounded interest. One day, you're all going to remember. Remember when Lena Wynn used to yell at us about taxes? Mm -hmm. You're going to remember me and you're going to remember my videos because I am telling you, people have not thought about it enough. People have no idea what's coming down the road. Actually, no one does. But we can make an educated guess that taxes are going to go up. So if you are saving for retirement in a tax deferred plan, hello 401k, hi 403b, how you doing 457? If you are continuing to put money tax deferred and growing that, you may find yourself in a world of hurt down the line when they raise taxes. And then you're going to remember me. And you're going to remember, I told you back in 2023, you need to start doing that and earning it tax-free, growing it tax-deferred, taking it out tax-free. Mình có đường đi chứ không phải không có. You know it now, so you can't blame it on not knowing what else to do. Okay? You can't blame it on that anymore. Nhưng mà... And it won't even take that long. I'm not even saying 10 years down the road. You're going to think about me a lot sooner than that. And you're going to say, I wish I would have listened to Lena. Start growing your money, you guys, in a tax-free bucket. Tax-free bucket. If, you're, if all you're doing is putting your money in a tax-deferred plan with your employer, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. The employer is passing on the tax liability to you. So take their match money. Just know you're going to pay taxes for it. But the rest, do something else. Do something else. Okay? All right. Oh, no, my video is lagging. I forgot to take it off of Wi-Fi and put it on hardwire. Gosh darn it. Uh, thank you. That will remind me to do it next time. Okay. Okay. Uh, but thank you for that, Red Hammer. Okay. I hope you learned something today. Did you? Did anyone learn anything? Yo tai lên. Yo tai lên nếu mà you learned something tonight. Okay. Um, here we go. Here it is. Oh yeah, it's my fallback, it's my fallback. And breathe. <laughs> I want you to pull out your policy and I want you to feel empowered that, hey man, dude, I understand this now. Oh, so that's what that means. And I want you to comment on a video and let me know that, hey, you did it. You looked at your statement. You understood it. Maybe you did some math. Okay. Yeah. And someone else said earlier, you don't need a lot of money. Hey, you don't need a lot of money to get life insurance. That's a myth. That's a myth. You know what else? If you think you don't have money now, a little bit at a time, a little bit each month for a policy, you are not going to have any money if something happened to you, if you get sick, if you died. That's more expensive. That you cannot afford. That your children can't afford. Okay? I'm telling you. Joy. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, give it a like, give it a like, and you seem to really like last Thursday's English lesson. The different ways to say something, conversational English, throw in some slang, 
Maybe you want me to do that again on Thursday? Yes? And then we'll um, we'll take a look at some idioms, maybe? Ooh, that's a fun word. Idioms. Okay, everybody. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. Thanks, Fat. I'm glad you guys like the show. Nhớ bấm like nha, chia sẻ với bạn bè. And remember, SBTN, give me some support. Give me some love. A little nervous. And we'll see you Thursday. Now I'm going to go eat a late dinner and play with my dog and hug my husband. Okay, everybody. Bye.